Hello everyone, this is Ndemagoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Command and Conquer. So, last we left off, we did ourselves the Brotherhood of Nod Mission 10 there, the assassination mission. And yeah, we had to go in and terminate the good doctor, yes, a very lovely mission. But uh, now, we have our, seems to have ourselves two more choices going into this next Nod mission here. Now, these two missions are pretty much the same thing. They just have a few things switched around, and that's pretty much it. So, But I think this one is the slightly easier one. So I think for that reason, we're going to go ahead and pick this one over here with this country, with this very um, uh, ugly panhandle sticky note here. Yes. So let's go ahead and click on this here. Nambia. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, military strength, uh, insignificant. Wow, this is going to be uh, very easy. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and see what our cutscene for this mission is. Yes, let's go see what Kane has to say. Yes, so, here we go. I hope I can trust you with this. GDI has stolen the plans and only prototype of our most valuable weapon. I call it Ezekiel's wheel. Essentially, it's a stealth tank. Get it back. Recapture the base without harming the wheel, and be certain to wipe out all present GDI forces to ensure that they never steal from me again. All right, here we go. So, this stealth tank. So, here we are in the mission 11, 11 here, where it is another mission where we do get a base, but it is uh, going to be another one of those missions where we have to go and find the base. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to go to earn our base. So, what we have here is our two main forces here, or our upper main force with our engineers. Yes, you guys definitely need to capture our base. And uh, so we're going to get our units a little bit organized here, get our engineers nice and protected, get our bazooka men to open a little bit, and get one minigunner up to the northmost part of the map as possible. Yes, has to distract those air strikers, those on the cats. These guys are already up north, and uh, having them get all taken out in, in by just one fell swoop the airstrike would really not be a little bit. Yeah. Protect you guys, especially our engineers here, and I'll get you guys to move. Okay, yeah, go after that. I'm gonna hug me now. Before he takes out all my pursuit men. Oh crap, no, I want you guys to attack the hug me, dammit. Alright, because especially so since we're gonna need a. We're gonna have a medium tank coming up here. But uh, we also have these guys down here, which also have been, have been attacked since there's these craters now, and a couple of little hard damage. Wait, but that's okay. Since, uh. We only, uh, as long as we took no real casualties here, which is good. Now, one thing we do have to watch out for now, however, is there's going to be an enemy gunboat up on this riverbank here. Since there's going to be a river that actually separates the two half two halves of this map, and these forces down here are the only forces we get down here, so yes, we've got to be careful with them, and they're also important because they will greatly assist us in capturing our base back from the enemy. Now, yeah, now what we can try and do is get, uh, try and lure, yeah, lure or get, you know, capture the attention of the gunboats, and so he targets one of, targets one of my guys here. Oh. And, uh, uh, there's a... So he targets one of my guys here, and since he's all fixated on my one target, we can now safely move my troops up, and then deal with this gunboat right away. Yes. So we're gonna move you guys up. You know, since we, now we're doing that little trick again that I said before, we have the gunboat all distracted with one of my guys. Yeah, we just use all my other guys and it's not distracted with over to then take them out very nice. Yes, very good. But now we gotta go over and take out that tank. So it took some pretty cheap shots at my uh, infantry here. 
while I was distracted with my other force down there. So, I'm going to go and deal with him now. And uh, so he would stop being such a pest. Alright, he's, he's targeting my minigunners so my bazooka men can move in, take him out, and yeah, without taking too much damage. Yeah, I get my engineers to go down. Yes, engineers, get into position. Oh, not really, just get into a safer position rather, but yeah. Yes. Alright, so now we all we have to do now is wait for that gunboat, and then uh, since that gunboat's distracted, he shouldn't be firing away at these guys. He will be distracted with trying to take him out, which is yeah, a very safe distance away from him. So yeah, we need to take out that gunboat because if we don't, he's going to cause a lot of problems for us, especially since the part of the river here extends to just so happens to extend to the entrance of our base that we're trying to capture. So having him harassing my troops is would uh, really not be good. I'm on, I'm on it. Yeah, you got really not be it. ideal either. So Yo, you got actually this. I'm this on side is yes, on the sir, side of where our base is. But can the commando see? Yes, he can. Oh, and yep, anyway, there it is the yes, sir, blossom tree it. as well as the base walls there. You got it. Reporting. Yes, indeed, uh, confirming that our base is right over here. Now, the enemy base is up on this corner here, almost in the opposite corner from where our base is in this map. But hey, I guess, I, I suppose, because of the river here. The, you can't really have the that's completely separating the map here. You can't really have my base go all the way down there. Okay, the next best thing. Hey, I guess that makes it a little bit easier for us too, since it'll make it a little bit closer to the enemy base. And yep, just what I wanted. That gunboat is distracted with taking out my one mini gunner who is way back there. No way he's gonna reach the map back there. So what I have to do now is just wait for these guys to casually take out this gumbo, and thankfully they do go slower when, as we damage them. So as soon as these guys have this gunboat taken care of, we can then move on without a care in the world. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, there are still lots of worries, but hey, there's one less problem to deal with, though, right? So, yeah, at least there's that. Actually, Bazooka Man, you can go over there and help help join the fight here. I'm trying to take out that pesky gunboat. And the air strikers haven't arrived yet, yeah, so we still have time before they take out that one mini gunner and my one distraction mini gunner is no longer around. But what I would also like to do is have the, my my uh, commando go up a little bit further so we can reveal more area. It'll help protect these bazooka men for sure. Unless it's vehicles, like companies. And oh, that would be the uh, something. <laughs> probably a grenadier or something. Since I've seen a, a new crater there. Yeah, probably a grenadier, because I noticed there's a lot less bazooka men now. Yes, uh, those damn grenadiers. Damn you. But that's okay. We have you. We have uh, that gunboat at very low health now. We just need to do a little bit more damage to it. You got it. All right, Commando, do a little no bit more problem. scouting ahead, please. Yeah. Well, we keep a close eye on our engineers here. Yes, yeah, so our engineers really cannot afford to die. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Really not good. Yeah, yes, you got it. Know, there's some more of our base walls yeah, to our base it. that we want to get to and capture. So this mission will, should become a little bit easier once we do have control of our base, but they will be starting to send stuff after us, including mammoth tanks now. Yeah, so we start sending mammoth tanks, and you guys, oh crap, get away from the harvester. We do not want to anger the enemy at this point in the stage in the mission here. But yeah, they, you're going to start sending mammoth tanks now. As speaking of mammoth tanks, they're also going to should have one mammoth tank down here on this side of the map that's awaiting us on the bridge. Yeah, we're gonna have to take out that mammoth tank with this and be sure that there's still a lot of these guys alive to do that. Yes, kill them. Ah, thank, thank God for these artillery being really good infantry killers. But yeah, we, we need to at least have, uh, especially our artillery, make sure our artillery is alive because it will not only once we've taken out that mammoth tank, it, it should be also, these guys from the other side of the river should assist in defending our new base uh, once we have taken the control of it. 
but uh, now I'm just sort of waiting on that gunboat, so let's go ahead and speed up the game footage, and hopefully no other minigunners or grenadiers will show up while these guys go and take you out. Come on, yes! Alright, there we go. Let's revert the game speed back to normal, and then save our game once again. Alright. Move out, men! And you can move out now, too, since the gunboat is no longer around to, to torment us. Very good. And, oh crap! More grenadiers! Alright, you know what? Since we just saved, let's just load our game back. <laughs> and uh, we'll be completely no harm, no foul. Since now we know what to expect with the grenadiers showing up. And we would like to keep our two bazooka men still alive to take out this map of tank that's coming out. So. Grenadier! Hello, Grenadier, where are you? Okay, yeah. Come on. Come on in, Grenadier. Yeah, it's right into range of my artillery. Yeah, it's excellent. Alright, much better. Now we see. That's a grenadier threat taken care of. Uh, grenadiers. They sure are annoying, but those grenadiers now you can move up as well. And same with you guys. Okay, how are you guys doing? Where's my compass man? Oh, there's a medium tank there. Not so good. Well, please, just patrolling. Yeah, it seems like he's just patrolling, so... Yes, sir. Don't have to worry about him, frankly. Uh, you guys can just make your way down. Very slowly make your way down, and the air strikers have not arrived yet still, which is good. Still more time for this uh, unit to just hang out up here. Just, just not really, uh, you know, just idling about, not really knowing what to do. Other than the obvious. Actually, you know what, well, let's get, try and get you up there, because you're more injured. You're, if you can get a more injured minigunner to distract them, that would actually be more efficient. So let's move you down, actually. It turns out that you won't be the sacrifice right away, since we have a much more suitable candidate up here. This injured minigunner. Yes, I am injured! Yes, sir! Uh, help, I am injured! Yeah, we're gonna help you, alright? We're gonna help uh, put you out of your misery. <laughs> no, we're not, right? We consider our units to be expendable. Well, some of them. Obviously, not all of them, but yeah. You know, you gotta do what you, what you gotta do, I guess. So let's uh, save again here. Uh, yeah, now that he's up there, and oh, there's that mammoth tank. Go ahead and take them out. Go, oh, guys! Uh, he's gonna kill all my dudes. What would actually also be really bad if that mammoth tank is going to use his anti-infantry uh, rockets on us. That would actually be very bad and will actually wipe out all my infantry very, very quickly. But also running us over can do that just as well, so we've got to avoid him doing that for sure. And oh, my friendly fire, ah, hellfire, hellfire artillery, hellfire. Ah, what are you doing, you fools? That was some very ugly friendly fire there, but hey, it should, at least we got that uh, mammoth take, taken care of, and it should still be enough for these guys to make it to this riverbank here. And as soon as these guys make it to this riverbank, it will make it a lot easier to defend the base. Yes, so I think that's it, actually. That one mammoth tank was our biggest, our last biggest obstacle that we had to go through. Now that that's taken care of, uh, I get, uh, yeah, no, we'll get these guys in position, and then we'll get these guys to move on out, because it seems that we'll have to go all the way around to get into this base, and yeah, it's along this sandy shore here that's the entrance to our base. And with some artillery support from this side backing us up, definitely make our job a lot easier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All we're doing now is waiting for these slow-ass artillery to make their way over there. Come on, artillery, you can do it. Yes. Now, I think we can also use these artillery over here. This may be... They, I don't know if they ever cover enough sight range. No. Because uh, what we could try and do is try and get them to attack those guard towers that are on the other side. Because this base that we're capturing does have defense. Oh! Yep, yeah, he seems to be doing that. He was shooting at something. Man. But, uh, yeah, these these base defenses... Uh, oh, there goes the airstrikers up there now. And, uh, the, yeah, the base de they do have guard towers defending the base that we're trying to capture, which is going to be a real pain. Let's see if we can get these uh, artillery to maybe take out the guard towers if they can. Yeah, unfortunately, they seem to be just out of range. 
just out of the sight range, which is quite sad and unfortunate, but hey, okay, whatever. You do what we can here, doing every little bit of strategy. And oh, there's a Humvee there trying to get us, it seems. Another Humvee. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe we can get the artilleries to take out these Humvees there that are on the other side. Yeah, see if we can get them to do that. They do seem to be in range. Let's see, are you? He's not yes, shooting sir. though. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe he does have to get closer. Yes, All right, guys, come on, hurry up, get over there, yeah. you damn slow folks. Thank you. Yeah, come on, you can yes, do it. Sir. Almost there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, yes, take out the Humvees. Oh, of yes, course they're gonna probably be away. Oh no 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 no! Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? That seems to have actually pissed them. I think I attacked their harvester, actually, so that's really not good. I think that's what angered them. Let's move everyone back. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the meat and the mammoth tank again, but that's okay. I think that was a, a, a very big no-no that I did there, attacking their harvester. I think that's what that one artillery did by shooting. So yeah, we can't afford to do that yet, because that really clearly made them angry by sending them all that stuff after me. Thankfully, we do save a lot, so we'll just have to go and do this one part again. Just the one part. Yeah, since this is a very difficult and tricky mission, this will probably take a while too, so just bear with me, folks. We will get it done. Just a step by step at a time. Yep, yeah, already got my injured guy up there. Very good. Alright, what's up here again? What's up? I think I was just like a new or something. I'm just going to take it out. <coughs> Not mini gunner, where are you? Or maybe that oh wait, no, that was just the yeah, mini gunner. I think we took him out already, so come on guys, just hurry up, make your way up here. He's very slow or two. I think they're the slowest vehicle unit in the game too, so yeah, it's just ridiculous how slow they are. Especially since this one, since this one's damaged, you go even slower. I mean, like, look at that, even the bazooka men is catching up to him, that's kind of ridiculous. But hey, whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Alright, well, you guys are just gonna have to stay on this side and await further orders. And, uh, ooh, do you have a church here? Maybe you can destroy this church and get some money out of it. That would actually be very helpful if we can. So let's just blow up this church with these, uh, artillery and not get this very ugly hellfire that we got very, like, last time. Very good. And, what do you know, there is, in fact, a crate in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up that crate. And it's definitely gonna help us out with us, uh, rebuilding our base, too. Yeah, it's definitely help us out. So there goes that arrow those air strikers. We need another uh, guy up there to go and distract him now. So you, go up there, please. Very good. And, uh, yeah. Be very careful to not attack that harvest. Yes, be very, very careful to not do that. It's actually safe here again. So we're in another good spot. We haven't attacked the harvester. So I really hope not. Alright, I guess you guys can go on forward and do not engage with that harvester. Thankfully, I think that's the, their base's harvester, so he's going to go up that way again. The other harvester that comes in and out of this base is the one that we really have to watch out for. To make sure that we do not attack that harvester, no matter what. Yes. That's all we have that's pretty much for these guys. It's just my bazooka men, my engineers, and my one commando. It's all my gunners are being used up now. Or either dead or beat, yes, so. I'm on it. so yeah, not very good. Yes, I'm on yeah, just pick your way down. Where's that harvester? Oh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared here. I don't know. Just keep going, just keep going. Hopefully he won't show up here and try and run us over. I'm really hoping he won't run us over. Like that would suck. But uh, let's see here. Let's see. Um, now they should, they should have, yeah, they have guard towers, they have guard towers. Now thankfully we can get, now we can get our artillery to take care of those guard towers. So yeah, you guys just keep moving in. Well, the, hopefully that guard tower shouldn't be there for much longer. Alright, good, good. 
You know, you guys move to the left more because there should be another guard tower this way. Yes. Oh, and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be distracted by the commander. Because we need these engineers to be alive. We need them to be alive. Yes, sir. Which is a little unfortunate. Looks like we're gonna lose our commando. But as long as that means our engineers getting into the base and capturing everything, then that's fine by me. Hopefully, okay, yes, sir. Because your men are safe as well. So don't attack the harvest. Don't attack the harvester. But we, what we can do to the harvester, however, is capture it as soon as he gets into the, into the refinery here. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. So you get on that refinery there, sir. Very good. Thankfully, the construction guard that is here is already on the side, so we're gonna use these two other guys to capture these two buildings here. And immediately start defending our base with you guys assisting on the other side of the river here. Because the enemy is gonna start attacking us now. But Make not all that they got, but, but a lot of infantry for sure, and we're going to need our defenses to go up as soon as we can. And hey, yes, what do you know, we can now also build obelisks, finally. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, we're going to do that right away, actually. But uh, first, we need to uh, extend our building range and build our power plants here, and so we can build an obelisk right here. I think right around here will be a perfect spot for an obelisk, but yeah. Oh yes, we can finally build obelisks. I was worried too that they that we might not be able to still build obelisks, but yeah, but nope, we got obelisks now. It's gonna make our life a lot easier. And speaking of which, look at that, already sending some infantry after me, like I said. So we're gonna get our defenses up as soon as we can, like ASAP here. We're gonna get one more power plant to extend our building range just a little bit more. Now, thankfully, we should have these artilleries here to help defend our base from the, from the south. And artillery are good anti-infantry, so they should work. They should be good at doing their job here. Is, now, if they start sending vehicles, that's gonna be a problem, which they will most definitely start doing very soon here, including mammoth tanks. So yeah, we need to defend our, we need to prepare our defenses. Get our obelisks up, and uh, it doesn't seem we can. It doesn't seem like we can build advanced power plants yet. Still, we can only build regular power plants, which is uh, a little bit of a problem considering that uh, advanced power plants would definitely help power our base needed to build up these obelisks. But uh, yeah, for that reason, looks like we're gonna have to just build a shit ton of power plants instead. So yeah. Oh well, and uh oh, uh oh, they're sending vehicles. Ah, uh, steady vehicles! No! Oh. Okay, well, there's uh, as long as they can get distracted with my artillery down here, then that, that'll be fine by me. It'll give me a little bit more time to set up my obelisks here. Because, oh god, yes, 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 okay, they're distracted, they're distracted. Because I was getting, I'm getting a little worried with all this stuff they're sending after me. The infantry is not so bad, it's the vehicles that have to watch out for. But hey, we got our obelisk up! Yes, obelisk! Go! Zap them into oblivion! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so you know what? We're gonna get another obelisk up. Because it's more the merrier. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's a little... I'm so glad I can build obelisks, but it is a little weird how we can build obelisks now, but not advanced power plants. Like, what is with that? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but, uh, hey, whatever. Like, like I said, for that reason, we're gonna be Really building up those uh, those power plants, really stopping them. Look at that! Go! Look at that! Go! Zapping them! Yeah! Go! Pew! Yes! Like pew! Yeah! Zapping them away! And I love this medium tank just not knowing what to do. And he's like all confused here. But hey, you know, gonna make it easier for me. All easier for me. Now this is the tech center. This is the building that we need to capture in order to do, obtain our stealth tank, but before, before we build up a hand of nods and do that, we need to set up another obelisk here to strengthen our defenses. Yeah, so good that we can build obelisks now, and they were such a, they were such a pain in the ass in the DEI campaign, but now that we have them, oh, uh, they're, they're just so amazing. Look at that, look at that humming do. it's just, that was a very loud hump. Uh, that's okay. As long as it's doing work for us this time. Yeah, that's, they're on us. I 
and still got you up there. Very good. Now we're going to get an engineer to go in ahead and capture that technology center. So we'll have that stealth tank captured back. And now the stealth tank, as we've seen before in the GDI campaign, you just have the ability of going completely invisible, as the name sort of implies. And because of that, it's going to definitely help us out do some scouting within the enemy base too. Yes, because we'll actually be able to do some scouting without the enemy realizing it. I think, but, oh, unless we get like really up close to them, I think if we Building. like go like right next to the enemies, then GDI then they'll building. see us and uh, then they'll start opening fire and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah, we're gonna need to make some open space here Construction because this this harvester seems to be having a bit of a hard time navigating his way around because of that. But no matter, we'll get some silos now. Maybe put one up here or down here or somewhere. Because we do have we do have enough space in our base to build yes, quite enough stuff. Up, but we need money now. Now that we've spent all of our money building up our immediate defenses to, to, to defend our base from all those attacks. So we're going to have to speed up this game footage here, unfortunately, to speed things up. Now, thankfully, there should be... Yeah, there's a huge Tiberian patch right here. That will definitely suit our, our needs. And not only that, but we do also have that blossom tree up there that will give us a nice little personal supply of income as well. So yeah. But uh, what's not good that I noticed is that they've taken out my one minigunner. Hey, no! My minigunner! What am I? My distraction minigunner for my airstrikes. For taking out this airstrike. That's not good. So we need to put up another guy up here. Actually, a little bit away from this blossom tree, because otherwise the blossom tree is just going to kill him. So yeah, we need to get we need a new guy up here because we really don't need we really don't need these airstrikes coming on and bombarding our base here. That'd really not be good. So yeah, let's see, we so, really don't really like what this one medium tank's doing, but hopefully he won't target my one mini gunner up here that I want to use as a, a distraction from the airstrikers. But hopefully that'll be far enough away from the blossom tree to not get hurt by it, so, yeah. Hopefully that'll work. As we get, uh... Uh, oh, my laptop just started on itself, I see over there. Probably doing an update, I'd imagine, but... Let's not pay any attention to that, shall we? Instead, uh, pay attention to, close attention to our harvester, which has taken a little bit of damage, I've seen. From that medium tank just showing up right there. We do have to sort of watch out for harvest, but actually maybe get a uh, second refinery up next because we can really use that uh, extra resources there. And yep, there we go. Use that one mini gunner to distract those first vectors. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Alright, so you go up there now while we get to my harvester to uh, deliver this money as soon as you can because yeah, we really need this second refinery now yeah, that we're really low on money now. We need that second refinery up, so just waiting on this harvester. Let's speed up the game footage while we wait for his slow ass. And yeah, he's gonna have it's not enough money, so we're gonna have to make another trip. Hopefully not two more trips. That would really suck if we have to do another trip after this one still. To finally get enough money to go to the refinery. Hopefully that won't be the case. We can't really afford to sell anything out of We have just enough power to power our two obelisks here that we most definitely need protect our base. And yeah, it is working on updates. Yeah, that explains it. That explains it. Alright, let's see. Oh, no, he's attacking my minigunner. No, that's not what I want. No, damn it, stop it. Stop it. Hey. Damn you. And, oh, that still wasn't enough. That's exactly what I was worrying about, too. Damn it. Well, okay, well, you're sending another the media attention. You go back here just Wait for him to get in range of my obelisk and then move on out. I think it's two three zaps with the obelisk to take out a medium tank. Let's see here. There's one. Two zaps, yeah, okay, two zaps. I think it's four or five zaps, yeah. It takes like to kill a mammoth tank. That's how much health they have. That just goes to show how much ridiculously how much health they have in those mammoth tanks. They take like four hits from the obelisk and they still won't die. And they have to be take like five minutes to finally die. Pretty ridiculous, but thankfully I think in this mission they don't send too many mammoth tanks after you, it's just once in a while they'll send one after you. 
and they mostly send medium tanks. And I, and I think they just they just still don't get uh, any rocket launcher artilleries either. You know those MLRSs that we had before on near the end of the GDI campaign. Yeah, I don't think they don't, they don't think that they don't get any of those guys still. And yet they get mammoth tanks now. Again, that's a little weird, but hey, whatever. I'm not gonna really question it. So it's a, you know, just one less enemy unit to deal with, I guess. But now we're low on power, which is really not good. We really need that power plant up, which thankfully we do have enough money to build, so get that up right away. And there we go, problem solved. We got our power up. But also, I think we will probably need some SAM sites here to help protect our base from these airstrikes. Yeah, I think we, that will probably be necessary, actually, is to build a couple SAM sites. Because, yeah, we're in this we're in the stage of the game now where it's just building up our defenses. We, we, we just need to hold down the fort for now. We have our obelisk, which will definitely help us out. And as well as our destruction minigunners, which will also help us out from those airstrikers. So, you're going to have to go up now next. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you can kill those guys too if you can. If they're just in range. No, okay, well, just stand there, whatever. You'll be a distraction. As we are just waiting for some more of my harvesters, so speeding up more game footage. Well, I think we will probably need to actually build a third refinery. Yes, a third refinery. So we're gonna have to sell one of my silos here so we'll have enough. Yeah, we do have enough space. There to build. And, oh, no, hey, hey, stop attacking my guy. Damn it. Yeah. yeah, my little guy here. How dare you attack my little guy? Our yes, yes. Yeah. They're very rude of you. Yes. Time to kill you now. <laughs> uh, in my. Oh, yeah, my good assistance by my um, artillery down here. Very good. You can see that my artillery is still helping me out. And hey, hey, they're attacking my harvesters. No, stop it. Hey, stop attacking my harvesters. You bastards. Yeah, well, just keep going home, Harvester. Just get the range of those uh, obelisks so you can take, take uh, care of those intruders nice and easy. Run them over. Run them over? Run them over? Let's see here. Oh, oh, shit, that's actually doing a bit of friendly fire damage, I noticed. Alright, you know what? Just, just make your way back home. Just make your way back home. There, no back home. Yes, sir. Uh, same with you, and uh, yeah, you keep going on. I think we're gonna save here. I think this is a good spot to save, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and do that while we speed up our game footage again. Now uh, that I think we're starting to get a good foothold on our base here, we're just still securing our economy with building more harvesters and refineries. I think three should do it. We do have this very nice, lovely big patch of Tiberium on this side of the map here. It looks like we're going to need some more power if we're going to want some SAM sites, so we're going to get on that. Another power plant there. And build another power plant there. Now let's build some SAM sites. And we'll get that airstrip up soon enough. But yeah, these obelisks, man. Definitely a real help for the, for me in this mission here. Yeah. As we've seen, like all, the, look at all those craters that they cause too. But, but I guess these craters are also caused mostly by the artillery as well. But yeah, this really goes to show how well of a base defense those obelisks are. And uh, you know, you could probably understand why they are a little bit more expensive than the advanced car tower that only cost a thousand, whereas these cost fifteen hundred. So yeah, there's that too. I noticed that you just sort of sit there and not knowing what to do after you've done all this. I don't really like it. I would prefer you to automatically keep doing your harvesting gig harvesters and not just sit around all day, wasting time and money for everyone. That would be very great. But thankfully, since these Tiberian patches are really large over here, we do have a lot of resources in this map over here, as well as this tiny personal amount of resources that are on this side as well. So yeah, but I do appreciate. I do appreciate how they do that. They actually give us a fair home. amount of resources to work Building. with this time around. I do appreciate Building. that. So let's get our Building. airstrip up. Ready. So we can get our Building. vehicles, including Building. our, our stealth tanks, Building. operational. Building. Get our airstrip. We'll just get some more of you guys up to the north. Get distracted by the air strikers. Got a whole bunch up together. Like that. Very good. Now, airstrip, I guess you're gonna have to go 
Yeah, I guess you're gonna have to go here. Now that we're actually starting to run low on space, and okay, it looks like we can't have the game put in spin up anymore, unfortunately. But hey, you know, I guess those fun while it lasted. Now, there's our stealth tank there, but I think we're gonna get ourselves a recon bike first to do some exploring. And, um, I think also. Uh, what we can do is move our once not only explore but get our recon bike to get close enough to their base to lure their orcas out. And once their orcas are lured out, we can get them to get in the range of our SAM sites so our SAM sites can make very quick work of those orcas. So here we are, waiting for our recon bike. Let's get a couple stealth tanks too, just to explore in here. Does that say 800 or 900? I don't know. Oh, that, yeah, that's 900 now that, now that I've seen it compared to the 800. Yes, sir. All right, but now that we got our recon bike out, let's go ahead and get him to do some scoring right away. Uh, my harvester's doing, yeah, they're all doing good. Uh, that one's a little damaged there, but that's okay. As long as they're not too damaged, where they actually start to slow down, then that becomes a problem. But we have our repair bay up, all ready to go for that. So let's get some stealth tanks up. To, since we have our recon bike doing some nice recon here, and look at that. Oh. Such beautiful amounts of Tiberium, too. You really don't have to worry about no, us running out of resources in this one. Might be a little long, though, but we'll see. One thing's for sure is the resources will are very plentiful. It's good. Yeah, there's our stealth tank there. Very nice. And you guys just go ahead and keep on staring at him. I'm completely fine with that. Be my guest. Uh, we keep waiting for those airstrikers to go and kill my most northernmost unit, which is exactly what I want him to be right now. Anyways, thank you, Minigunner, for serving your purpose to only distract the airstrikers. Yeah, the joys of being nods, am I right? Yes. Alright, let's so, uh, Should be approaching the enemy base up here, and yep, we have to be now because there's that orca. What we're gonna do is just get that work out. Just, yep, just wear them into range of our SAM sites here. And hopefully that'll have those orcas taken care of. Now, there's just one orca, there's probably gonna be that other orca soon, but we're gonna have this one orca. Alright, bye bye orca. This. Yeah, good. Uh, how'd that attempt to plan to turn out for you? Not very good, I see. Yeah, maybe it, maybe the AI is also suffers from the same issues as me, where they cannot command the air units once they are airborne. You know, they just sort of have to suck it up, you know. But you know, it's good now that they feel my pain in a way. Yeah, I love how this uh, one uh, bike is just dodging this medium tank shot very nicely there. Because I think they probably do have that one other worker that they're going to go up a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to the entrance to their base. It's um, advanced guard towers, as expected, as well as a mammoth tank that seems to be patrolling. Yeah, that seems to be patrolling their base. Not really seem to be going after us. Which is fine with us, because we're going to build Building. some more stealth tanks. Get across this base the best we can. Oh no, I don't think this bug is gonna make it. But the bike is gonna make it. But maybe that is that. Uh, maybe that they just had that one worker, and that was it. So whatever. That was that worker. It's one worker. One less worker to deal with, anyways. So we're gonna have our stealth tanks. Get our stealth tanks up, and then we're gonna actually send them up. Maybe do a little bit of exploring into the base without them noticing since still ticks are invisible, or can go invisible. We'll make very good use of that ability for sure. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to speed up our game footage until we get some more of these guys to grow up. Still ticks, they're a little bit, of ex little bit expensive, but uh, I'd say that they are worth it because of all the cheeky sneaky stuff that you can do. Which is good. Well, I think we'll get one more up here. One little, one little extra stealth tank up, oh, and there they go with those airstrikes, very good. So we'll send you up now, to go and deal with the next wave of airstrikes, very nice. Alright, move out stealth tanks, move on out of here, yeah, get on. Let's go ahead and save our game here, because we're looking good now, we're looking good, so we're just sort of gathering up our forces. We may or may not need another harvester to speed up the production of our income here. 
but we'll have to see. I, I, in the meantime, I want there's a special job that I want these stealth tanks to do, and you'll we'll see soon enough. Besides just trying to sneak into their base, of course. So we can get another stealth tank to go up. And yeah, enjoy the nice scenery here with all the deserts and the nice water that's so much more calm now that it doesn't have that gunboat patrol in here. If I do say so myself. Yeah, and I also like that, that Tiberium there is like touching the very edge of the water now. Kind of odd, but whatever. Some more stealth tanks patrolling the night. Yes. Yeah, just waiting on that other stealth tank to come on forward here and be delivered. We are on the left side of the map here, so it will take us a little little bit longer for our vehicles to be delivered to us via the airstrip. Yep, there we go. That stealth tank up. And yeah, I think we will actually need to build like a fourth harvester or something because yeah. We're going to need a little bit more money than this. And of course they're going to have to go the long way around. That's whatever. And uh, are they going to send some more stuff after me? It looks like they are. Yeah, two more Humpies. I'm fine with that. As well as another medium tank. We have we have the defenses to take care of them. Building. Actually, speaking of which, we might actually be able to build another bunker turret right on the where this new gap is between our walls. But, you know, these two obelisks will still be more than enough. Uh, we should have enough power. We should have just enough power to build another bunker here. And that tank is going to shoot a couple times at our harvesters there, but that's okay. I think he's just going to go inside, try to go inside of our base here. Let's see if he's enough power. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, they use less power than I thought, actually. Which is even better. Yeah, I should be able to build two turrets without running out of power. But we're not going to do that. We're just we're going to need more money. So, and we're going to build that set that fourth harvester up. So you guys go and take him out. Very good. And uh, you will go in their base. Hopefully, not get detected by them. As you continue to be invisible there. Very nice. And what are you going to do, sir? What are you going to do? You're just going to patrol about? You're not going to go this way? I mean, they can't see me, so it's not like he's actually going after my guys. Because, you know, you can't see them. You can't go after what you can't see, right? Alright, but we're going to get you in. Try and go right down the middle here. Right down the middle if you can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, look, look at all those guys. There's a lot of resistance in there. But uh, looks like we're gonna we're just gonna be able to sneak just by them. Oh no, they saw me! They saw me! All oh, right, it must have been because we went right right beside their communication center, and their communication sensing notes has all these radars and stuff. I guess it would make sense for them to spot my my invisible stealth tank. All right, I'll give them that. Fair enough. Yes, sir. But hey, we still got to see a good inside of their base either way, which I'm yes, all, which I'm still happy for. So, still very thankful for that. And we're gonna save our game again because of that. Or no, not still no, no, Actually, to the side. Yeah, it looks like there seems to be a, a side entrance maybe to the base. But we'll have to see. We'll see if we can get you guys to sneak on by here without getting detected here. Oh god, you got detected! No! Ah, get away! Oh, okay, yeah, they, they're getting like too close to them. Stop getting too close to them, damn it. Uh, now go up here. Because, yeah, I don't know what they got. Maybe a side entrance? No? Okay, well, it's more walls, but hey, it's their construction yard right next to their side of their base. Okay, alright. And yeah, it does seem that they only had one helipad here this time, but yeah! their construction yard. Well, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and take that construction yard out there with our, with our stealth tanks. Now, that's going to anger them quite a bit, but hopefully we can take out their construction yard. Because if we can take out their construction yard, then they will not be able to rebuild anything in here. Yeah, it will make our life a lot easier for sure. So, bye-bye construction yard. It was not nice to you. Because now, we seem to have angered the enemy quite a lot with them sending all their stuff after me, including two mammoth tanks. Hopefully these stealth tanks can do what they can to try and hold them off for as long as they possibly can before they just completely get annihilated. But yeah, we took out their construction yard though, that's, that's really good either way. Because of that, 
they cannot rebuild anything, and that's all damage that we do to their base is pretty much permanent now. Well, to structures anyways. They can still remake more units. Which is the next thing we have to focus on. As well as not getting our shit killed by airstrikes and folks, but you know. That's the last of those stealth tanks, that's no good, but oh well. They seem they do seem to be going after my stuff now, which is not so good, but uh, we have two we have two obelisks. And as well as a bunker turret, and if that wasn't enough, we do have some artillery support from the other side of the river here, so we should be good to hold off these guys here. Yes, we should. Yeah, let's get that other harvester up because we do have yeah, we still have our three harvesters. Just have to get up that fourth one now, so we'll speed up the game footage again. Go ahead and do that. Construction get our harvester. Because yeah, it's just waiting for more resources. Actually, you can go up and go ahead and harvest this on the time during my turn now that we got it quite a bit. Should be enough for one load. Almost. Almost one full load. That's good. We'll take what we can, anyways. Because, yeah, all, all these guys are just going to sit here and, uh, yeah, okay. It's fine by me. That's fine by me. Just uh, let them sit there and just waste their life away trying to kill this one guy. <laughs> While we then focus on making, I don't know, maybe we should make some more stealth tanks and then go around and then destroy their... Uh, Refinery, their power plant, and then their, yeah, some more of their vital structures behind here. Building. Actually, might not seem like such a bad idea. So we'll maybe Ready try to do that now that we've taken out the construction yards. Construction complete. Oh, and there they go, the airstrikes. Ah, and yes, since they were targeting that one guy that the airstrikes wanted to kill, now they're gonna go after my base. I mean, which again, we should be fine. We have two obelisks now. As well as a bunker and artillery support. Yeah, let's see here, yeah. We can just speed up the game footage. These guys not even just gonna not even do anything still, so yeah. It's fine by me. Let's get some more stealth tanks up. Yes. More stealth tanks. I mean, they are the new units on this in this mission, so I guess it would make sense to show them off. You know, why not? So we got another whole group of stealth tanks here. You go ahead and take them out while well, stop you guys from attacking my men. So we'll just run them over. Run them over, all nice and easy, just like that. Very nice. All right, excellent. All right, looking good here. Looking good. Let's just speed, turn down the game speed again. And then save our game again. Alright, very good. And uh, let's go into the side and just take out their refinery. Yes. We're not going to pay any attention to their harvester. Since then they can still rebuild the harvesters, but not the refinery since we did take out their construction. So let's go ahead and do that and not have you guys get too close to their guard towers. Come on now. Go this way. Yes. This of course, it's going to be very difficult to navigate these guys through these very narrow choke points. So they did take a little bit of damage, but oh well. Let's see if we can get them through these walls here. They should be able to attack them, I mean, they're rocket fire. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We can destroy these walls, there we go. Now we're going to go in and take out... We're going to go in and take out their... Yeah, take out the refinery. They got the refinery first. Come on, destroy it. Destroy the refinery. If we can destroy the refinery, we can completely cripple their economy. Oh, this is not going so good. Oh god, it might just be enough just to destroy the refinery. Alright, it is just enough to destroy the refinery. Good. Alright, well, they can no longer make any more money now, which is good. And I think because of that, all we have to do now is just send one more strike force, and that should be enough to finish them off. Yes, it should be now. Let's get another one of you to go up there and destruct the airstrikers. Yes, sir. While we now plan for more of our attack. I think they took out one of my harvesters, it seems. Yes, uh, sir. Those bastards. There's those bastards. Oh well. I mean, it still doesn't compare to the damage that we've done to them now, so we're, we're good. Now it seems we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get to our... Oh, no, we have our next, so let's just gather up our forces now. Let's just get buggies. 
building. get some troops in, and yeah. Because now it's just gathering up our main force, and we should be good for this mission. Complete. We should be able to get it done in around an hour ready. here. Building. Now that we're looking pretty good, looking pretty smooth sailing at this point, guys. Ready. Building. I mean, they do have those guard towers, but that's it. So they cannot be killed. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, ready. There, and here they come. We'll have our obelisk team make ready. quick work of those infantry. Very nice. And we'll make some more mini gunners and more buggies. Mini gunners and buggies. And get some more advanced units going up. You know, we'll progress from the most basic yeah, units to the most advanced yeah, units. Yes, very nice. Building. More minigunners, yeah, listen to those guys die and melt to those lasers. It's just... Ready. Yes, very marvelous. Alright, another one of you. Yeah. Very good. Minigunners up. Should we get another five minigunners? Because why not? Building. More minigunners! And more buggies. And, uh, oh, so it seems to be just out of range of my, uh, obelisk here. That's interesting. Oh, well, no matter. We'll just get you to prepare yourself. Well, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and take, uh, get taken out by the obelisk. Good. Alright. That should be most of them. That should be the last of their infantry there. They just uh, use up the last of their money, gathering up more stuff. The yes, this will not save. Permanent. Only prolonging the inevitable gap at this point. So let's get Building. some uh, recon bikes. You want the Moving bazooka out. dudes? Bazooka Building. dudes? The bazooka men? Well, I'm going to forget the last few names. And the bazooka men. Yes, yes. very nice. Building. Uh, you're still looking good up there, very good. Getting a little bit more resources, but yeah, still a lot more Tiberium up here, and it seems like this was the Tiberium patch that the enemy was harvesting, which they can't anymore since we took out their refinery, which is good. It'll allow this Tiberium patch to now spread as well. GDI interfering too much anymore. So yeah, building up our main forces, and uh, once we have it should be enough to take everything out, and once that's done, it should be GG's here. It should be good game. Should have it in the bag now. Oh, but uh, we need to uh, do uh, man. It's a bazooka man. Yes. And some recon bikes. Once we have four recon bikes, we'll get some light tanks up. And then once we have some light tanks up, I guess we'll get a couple flame tanks and a couple artillery, maybe some a couple more uh, stealth tanks, and that should be good. Should have everything we need to take out all their stuff. Looks like we might have to speed up the game footage just uh, because, yeah, we're running low on money here. We're just gonna have to wait for our money to catch up. You know, give it, give it a minute to catch up here. And hope you're gonna get in the way. Mine, whatever, just hurry up and go and harvest the Tiberium. Go and harvest the Tiberium. Fuck hard. Uh, if only you could slap your units like you can in Dungeon Fever, that'd be pretty funny. Yeah, work harder, work harder. Oh well. Building. I guess speeding up the game footage works just just well enough, I suppose. Because yeah. We're out of money now! Go! Go on four! Go and commence four! Harvest the Tiberium! Very nice! Alright, you go up there! Because, yeah, it's just waiting for you guys now! Just waiting for you! We're waiting on you, uh, harvesters! My bazooka be now! Alright, that's okay. Four, bug or four bikes! Four buggies! Uh, okay, yeah, you guys move up there. You guys move up there. I'm uh, just trying to organize my troops a little bit better here. Alright, uh, make some more bazooka men. As well as some light tanks now. Yes. Yeah, bazooka men, they're a little more expensive, so it will cost me more money, which in turn will take me more time here, so just bear with me, folks. Just gathering up my main forces here. Yes. 
you. Yeah, I've said that over and over again already. All right, Building. now we'll focus on the light tanks. Construction complete. Yeah, light tank number two. Reinforcement number three. Oh, he's attacked my guy. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. Stop it! Yeah. Damn it! I need that guy. Construct the air strikers. You fool. Building. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and uh, maybe make a couple of uh, artillery, I guess. Yeah. A couple of artillery, I suppose. Well, I'll make some artillery. Yeah, make some artillery. Construction. Because they're not too expensive either. So we'll get a couple of you guys. Construction complete. Oh, uh, Kind of running low on route here, and uh, we'll need some uh, flamer okay. tanks, some flamers, some flamers. Hopefully, they won't burn all my infantry complete. by accident. That would be very nice if they could do that. Yeah. Get a couple of flamers and then a couple of stealthers, and uh, yeah, that should be it. Should be good enough. Now, is those air strikers done, done and dealt with? Also, very nice. Yeah, another flame tank. Construction complete. And a couple of stealthers. Reinforcements have arrived. And a couple of stealthers. And you know what? I think that should be good. I think that should be enough units to take out their base. Should be. I'm really hoping that it is. Because yeah, this is starting to get a little dragged out for a little long now. A little Construction complete. Taking a little while here, a bit of a hot minute, but hey, it is kind of to be expected in these last few real-time strategy missions here. I also hope there's just enough space for these harvesters to make their way through. Uh, ridiculous. Oh, we, what's going on? Oh, yeah, right. More attacks. More futile attempts to, to whittle me down and bring me down in life. Uh, it's so, so sad to see it every time. Alright, so we'll hurry you, because you're being harassed by the mammoth tank up to the north. And you guys move out! Yes, move on out. So it looks like we're gonna have to deal with this menace here. Actually, you know what? Not even. I don't even think you need this anymore, quite frankly. So let's, let's just sell you. We can use the infantry anyways. So you guys can just join with these guys anyways. Actually, no, except for one of, one of you can go up here. And, uh, Distract those air strikers, as we now have, are tasked with the absolute nightmare that is trying to navigate our all of our units down here. Because, yep, look at that primitive pathfinding. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's an old game. Yeah. Yeah. All right, take him out. Let's take out that mammoth. Oh, he's. I think he's in range of the obelisk too, which is good. The sooner that we take him out, the better. Very good. Very nice. You guys go on out there, except for you. Except for you, harvester. You. Back to base, he's doing your thing. Alright, guys. Yeah. Too bad, yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, when you're, when you're trying to select your army but not your harvesters to go out and attack the enemy. It can be pretty irritating, but yeah, whatever. Alright, well, we'll just speed up the game footage for just a little bit longer here, it seems. Because, yeah, just navigating you guys through. Come on. Come on, you guys. Like, what, come, what are you two even doing this way? Now go this way. Thank you. Very good. See, that wasn't so hard, now was it? As we have some more intruder infantry to deal with, that's no problem. Just, we're gonna have to deal with them anyways. So we're gonna stay at their base. So we'll just take care of them real nice and easy. Very good. Alright. And they seem to be completely out of money now. Judging from yes, the sir. appearance of their silos not being green at all now. So, I would like these guys to go on through here so they don't have the risk of running through the Tiberium and taking damage. So, as soon as they take out that medium tank there, we're going to do that. Alright, same with this medium tank up here. Also needs to be taken out. There it is. Alright. Medium tank is destroyed, very good, so now we make our way up here. Well, we're still going to have to speed up the game footage for just one more time here while these guys make their way around. Yes, sir. Okay, well, vehicles is okay. Vehicles, it's okay to go over type here, but not infantry. So come on, guys, hurry up. Come on, hurry up, make your way over. Oh my god, just, just get off here. Just get up here. 
Oh my god, there's those air strikers. That's what I was trying to avoid as well, but oh well. I guess I couldn't. It doesn't really matter at this point since we took out their construction yard and can't rebuild anything at their half morning. Yeah, as ev evident by them selling their buildings as well. Very nice. Alright, take out their advanced guard towers now. They're the next biggest threat. Yes, sir. Yes, destroy it now. Yes, sir. Oh, never, don't never your mind about silos. We need to just wipe out the enemy. That's what's really needed here. Yes, so we get that plane tank. Go ahead and roast all those infantry. Very nice. Oh, damn! Look at that. Oh, look at all those infantry melt and explode from that one plane tank. Awesome. All right, thank you, plane tank. You may be dead now, but at least you served your purpose. And helping and greatly helping me out take out all that huge, massive mob of infantry that they had there. And I guess it does sort of make up for them using their damn airstrikes on all my men right before I attacked them. That was kind of cheap of them to do that, so let's go ahead and destroy their communication center. No longer give them able to use airstrikes on us. Let's go ahead and do that. There we get. Alright, now take them out. And maybe, uh, yeah, destroy the barracks so they won't be able to make any more infantry. And it looks like I'm gonna have to build up another force to go and finish the job, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe build another hand of nod here to replace my old repair bay and speed up the production of infantry ever so slightly. And yeah, that should be this mission done. You know, it is, it is a tricky mission, but uh, we got it done. And it did take us a while, but yeah, it's it's coming to an end real quickly here, just so we get our final forces up. We don't even have to send much anymore, we have just, really just a few minigunners, light tanks, and buggies, and that should be it. I mean, these guys still survive too, which is great. Because since this one flame tank is still alive, he's doing a lot of damage to these enemy structures. I mean, like, look at that. Look at all that damage. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Just goes to show how effective the new flame throw weapons are against not only infantry, but enemy structures as well. Absolutely devastating. Reinforcements have That's why flame tanks are actually useful Building. in that regard. Yes, sir. So yeah, you guys can go ahead and finish off, finish cleaning up this base here, and yeah, yeah there's no more guys over here, so it looks like there's just that one harvester left, and then, yeah, that's it, that's everything. Let's make some more guys here, more like tanks, and get a few bazooka men in, because why not? Get a few bazooka men in. Bazooka men. Yeah, bazooka. Reinforcements uh, yeah, look at how peaceful it is now that we've taken out all the enemies. Sure is a lot more peaceful around here. Just the way I like it. Yes, very good. Be, uh, we'll get a couple buggies in and then yeah, it should be enough to go in and finish everything off. Reinforcements have arrived. Alright, is that buggy? Construction Very good. Building. And you guys finish those off. Alright, that's this mission pretty much done now. Just waiting for these guys. Looks like we'll have to skip the game footage one last time. Here. One last time. Because our one seems to be our one last target, our harvester up there. Yeah. Let's see. More buggies. And oh, there goes that harvester. He's probably just making one last desperate attempt to try and run over my men. So we'll let him do that. Reinforcements and we'll have just let him come to us then. Construction we're originally going to go to him, but if he's just going to go to us, then you know, make our job even easier. Pretty sure that's the last unit left too. Probably the, the, the other reason why he's suddenly coming after us more. All right, is that done? And uh, yeah, you guys go and take out that harvester. Same with you guys now. An extra strike force that I don't even need actually. But we'll do it anyways. Also, good that my uh, artillery got to survive as well. They definitely did help us out in this mission. 
this tricky bit of a mission here. Alright. So uh, that's that's done. We should be good with this. I'm not seeing any more enemy units. Be ready to save our game here right before it ends. Yeah. Alright, and that's that. Oh, I'm kill him too. Yes. Of course, you always have to kill the technician after as well. Alright, so that's that done. Hell yeah. Get to see a cool cutscene of the epic obelisk charging up here. Incoming event, yeah. We're gonna see its awesome charging ability, uh, charging, shooting, laser, pew pew abilities here. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Alright, so that's Nod Mission 11 finally completed. Yeah, so glad to finally end it off here. Yeah, I did get a very nice, helpful play with those obelisks, as well as that artillery from the bottom of the river as well. But yeah, finally glad to end it off here. With that being said, looks like uh, this is going to be it for today, everyone. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like the video, as well as the other ones that I upload on here, then don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as I upload videos almost every day. So be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. And be sure to stay tuned for next time, where we do Nod Mission 12, the second last Nod Mission in the Nod campaign, so yes, be looking forward to doing that, as well as being looking forward to seeing you there, and uh, watching me hopefully do well, so yes. In the meantime, this is Wayne 77 signing off, and as always, take care everyone. <laughs>